The history of the Navy Chaplain Corps traces its beginnings to November 28, 1775, when the second article of Navy regulations was adopted. It stated that the commanders of the ships of the 13 United Colonies are to take care that divine services be performed twice a day on board, and a sermon preached on Sundays, unless bad weather or other extraordinary accidents prevent. Although chaplains were not specifically mentioned in this article, one can infer that Congress intended that an ordained clergyman be part of ship's company. For 240 years, Navy chaplains have been where it matters, when it matters, with what matters to ensure our people are able to practice and grow in their faith, regardless of where the Navy, Marine Corps, or Coast Guard send them. From the decks of carriers, destroyers, and amphibs at sea around the world, to the battlefield, to naval hospitals, to Coast Guard cutters and stations, chaplains have been there with our warfighters, embodying the presence of God and helping our people connect with something greater than themselves. Chaplains like Thomas Conway on the USS Indianapolis, who braved shark-infested waters in World War II to bring peace and comfort to those adrift in the Philippine Sea awaiting rescue. For three nights, he kept their hope alive, praying with the survivors until he died. Chaplains like John H. Craven, Vincent Capadano, and Stan Beach understood and brought what mattered most to those in the crucible of war. These giants, on whose shoulders we stand, reminded our people that the one who created the world holds them in the worst of times and will not forsake them. From the tragic shooting in Chattanooga to the MARSOC Marines and aviators lost in training exercises and humanitarian operations over this past year, chaplains have been there to offer compassionate, pastoral care for the families, friends, and communities who grieve. Even in the midst of a generation that seems increasingly distant from matters of religion and faith, chaplains are there to remind people of the love of God and to support them as they develop their own faith identity. In the words of the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, chaplains often serve as the bezel ring that keeps our Marines' moral compass pointed to the true north. As religious ministry teams, we help our people remain spiritually, morally, and ethically fit for duty by modeling honesty, integrity, loyalty, and compassion. We help ensure our Marines are poised to meet the demands of military life and to uphold our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. We also remain committed to walk alongside our wounded, ill, and injured, who in many cases are still coming to terms with their combat experiences and the indelible mark these experiences have left behind. We are there for them where and when it matters as they navigate the course towards recovery and healing. It is for these brave men and women that we serve as a reminder of a God who is semper fidelis, always faithful. A God who in the words of Jeremiah has plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. As we honor our rich legacy as a chaplain corps at sea and in battle, we also celebrate our present ministry to our service members and families ashore through programs like Credo and PrEP that help build healthy relationships and increase resilience, and religious education and chapel programs that build a sense of community and nurture the roots of faith in our people. To all our chaplains and the active and reserve components, I say thank you. Thank you for answering the call to serve. And thank you for your enduring commitment to enrich the spiritual well-being of our people, to engage with leadership, and to enhance our professional competencies. It is indeed a privilege to serve as your Chief of Chaplains, as together we uphold the legacy of service of those who have gone before us. Wherever you're celebrating, happy anniversary, and know that what you do matters. Answering the call to serve, where it matters, when it matters, with what matters since 1775.